evaluating salespersons and organization. One of the most important responsibilities of sales managers is to evaluate the performance of the sales personnel. The factors affecting salespeople's performance are many. Some of these are beyond the control of the individual, while some can be modified. A proper evaluation process ensures that the organization is well managed. It also provides the sales personnel with information on their performance and gives recommendations for further improvement. Thus, in this lesson, we will understand the process of performance evaluation and how effective performance evaluation can also help in improving the relationships between the sales force and the various stakeholders of a business. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you will be able to enumerate essentials of sales force monitoring program, analyze the principles of sales force evaluation, compare the evaluation performance standards, analyze the importance of field sales report, understand how sales organizations can be effective. The purpose of evaluation is to improve salesperson and firm's performance. Evaluation allows management to identify substandard performance and take corrective action like adjust training, compensation or strategy. An effective sales force monitoring program includes essentials like technical ability, cultural empathy, adaptability, flexibility, diplomacy, and language ability. Principles applicable to sales evaluation differ largely depending upon the factors governing a company at the micro level or an industry business environment at a macro level. The main principles include Evaluation should be on practically possible parameters rather than pre-decided goals. Salesforce problems should be kept in mind while evaluating the performance. It should not be a classified document meant to judge a person's ability without his knowledge as to how and when he is being judged. It should be based on actual facts and figures such as the competition in the market, sales potential, market segment, geographical boundaries, consumers perception, etc. It must not be aimed at criticism but should aim at identifying the factors that lead to failing performance standards and ways and means to eliminate the same. It should be articulate and self-explanatory thus providing valuable inputs to make policies that help attain the sales objectives. It should motivate the sales force to participate in and share their inputs in improving the methods and procedures of evaluation. It should be based on benchmarks and standards and not on prejudices. It should have the necessary element of flexibility so that it can be molded according to the changing market conditions. It should not be vague, but more focused and specific about the objectives to be achieved. It should be economical to devise and implement. A good sales evaluation is a means to an end and not an end in itself. Hence the sole objective is not to evaluate the sales performance, but to find reasons why and where the sales force is lagging and the ways and means to overcome the same. Performance evaluations which provide team leaders with an opportunity to assess the team members' contributions to the organization are essential to developing a powerful sales team. Most organizations choose to have their standards set on quantitative measures. Some standards of quantitative performance standards are quota Selling expense ratio, gross margin ratio, territorial market share, sales coverage, effective index, call frequency ratio, calls per day, 
order call ratio, average cost per call, average order, non-selling activities, multiple quantitative performance standards and so on. Qualitative criteria are used to appraise those performance attributes that affect sales results. The attributes may affect the sales performance over a long run, but they can only be evaluated subjectively and qualitatively, and hence an exact definition of such attributes is not possible. The field sales reports are prepared for obtaining control information. The common purpose of all kinds of field sales reports is to gauge the performance of the sales force. Yet it may be designed to include additional information so that it serves various purposes like sales planning because a field sales report helps the sales personnel to plan their time and work with respect to the information requested in the report. Data for evaluation since it provides valuable data for performance evaluation of the sales force such as number of calls made, number of orders signed, total days worked, total miles covered, etc. Records since it serves an excellent routine diary where suggestions, complaints and reactions of customers with respect to new products can be recorded. Providing market information since it helps gather vital information about the competitors' moves in the marketplace. Barometer of market or economic conditions, since it provides information regarding essential parameters necessary to understand the pulse of the marketplace and the economy and help organize logistics. Since these reports help in planning and stocking stores, and making appropriate plans with regard to complete logistic solutions so as to perform with minimum possible working capital. Sales department needs to have certain essential skills that are a prerequisite for success through the entire sales cycle. These include preparing for customers, acquiring customers, retaining customers. An effective organization is one that determines who are its right customers, blueprint the sales cycle and continue to drive sales excellence through talent and process development. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Fill in the blanks. Principle says that evaluation should be on the basis of possible parameters rather than pre-decided ones. What do you think should be filled in the blank? Pragmatic. Principle says that people should know that they are being evaluated. Now what should be filled in this blank? Transparent. Principle says that evaluation should be based on actual facts and figures. Realistic. Which principle says that evaluation should not be vague? Specific. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. The sales manager must understand and conduct a proper performance appraisal of his salespersons as it helps in motivation, cost reductions and reduces role ambiguity. The sales manager has two basic choices, outcomes or behaviors. Outcomes are specific measurable results of selling efforts. Behavior is a salesperson's activities that are related to accomplishing the firm's sales objectives. Behavior includes product knowledge, presentation quality, closing ability, service performed, number of calls made, days worked, and other activity measures. Behavioral activities are measured via scales including traditional rating, forced choice rating, call reports, etc. Sales reports generated by the sales force give information 
on many decision-making areas for the top management. Every company, in accordance with its requirements, sets standards of performance for specific criteria and develops a reporting system for comparing actual performance with the norms. Sales effectiveness is important across all industries. Without a skilled and productive sales organization, few firms can survive, much less excel.